I've got a couple of things. There's not a huge amount of places to hang things in this tiny kitchen, so this is about as good as it's going to get. I do have a Christmas tree in my living room, though, so yay! Right, so I'm going to get our oven on. We're going to be making some um, ginger citrus marmalade today. Now, one of the things I love, love, love about Christmas is actually making presents for people. Um, and it's something that I've done probably for the past five years, I think. Um, chutneys, jams, marmalades, chocolates, fudge, that kind of thing. Um, I love it. It's so nice just to give uh, a gift to someone you love that you have already imbued with love when you've made it. So great and um, you know these things are kind of um they're, they're simple they take time don't get me wrong they take a bit of time but they're easy and um when you give someone something homemade to see the look on their face totally worth it so yes ginger citrus citru citron ginger citrus marmalade tongue twister right so first i've, I've already sort of done a bit of prep so we've got um four limes two lemons and a two and a half centimeter piece of ginger so what i've done is i've literally i've just top and tailed the fruit and given it a good wash and i've um, just diced up the the ginger so what i'm going to do my trusty pan i'm basically i'm just going to dump the fruits and the ginger into a pan wet and then I'm going to get oh. a uh, pint glass um, you need two pints of water rather than measuring it out with a jug do it the old fashioned way use a pint glass So I'm just going to put your two pints of water in there and put the heat on and basically we're just going to bring that to a boil and once it's boiled once it's boiling, I should say, um, you need to turn it down um, to, a, to a simmer and you're going to boil it for a one and a half hours. This is why I'm saying it's, it takes time. Um, basically, what you're doing here is you're, you're drawing all the moisture out, you're turning them jammy, um, and yeah, so that's basically what, what we need to do. So I'm just going to let that come to a boil um, and then I'm going to simmer it, as say, for uh, one and a half hours. So um, once it's had it simmer, I will be back and I'll show you what it looks like and what to do next, so I'll see you in a bit. So, we're back an hour and a half later. It seems like a really long hour and a half to me. Obviously, for you, it's happened in a flash. For me, it seemed quite a long time. Anyway, so yeah, an hour and a half passed um, and I have taken this off the heat. It should really look cool a little. But inside... That's what we have our fruit is super super soft and squidgy so what we're going to do now is um, drain off the liquid so I'm just going to grab a sieve and pop it over this bowl and I'm just going to drain off we need to keep this liquid don't pour it down the sink Ginger, don't want to waste those. Okay, so we have drained that off. What we're going to do, I'm just going to um, Okay, so we need to now chop up our fruit. We need to discard any pips, um, 
but it's, it's good to let it cool a little bit because obviously it will be very hot to touch it's fine if you're like super cookie and have asbestos asbestos fingers um but yeah leave it to cool um, a little so, so you can handle the fruit um, before you start chopping up <clears throat> also you want to um, rinse out your saucepan a little bit too so i'm just going to do that okay so now those are chopped i'm going to add them back to my rinsed out pan So what we want to do as well is we want to add in some ground ginger, raw seed for freshness, freshness, what I can't talk today, what is wrong with me? Right, open that and we want, it's two teaspoons of, of ground ginger, I'm going to put that in there. Lovely. So now we've got that. So let's put it back on here and I'm going to pop the heat back on. Um, we need to re add the, um, the liquid that we've drained off, but we also need to add in preserving sugar. Now, uh, preserving sugar is very much like jam sugar, it's just a co coarser texture. I'll let me show you. It's quite coarse in texture, whereas jam sugar is, is, is more. Uh, ground like granulated sugar um, jam sugar and uh, preserving sugar both have pectin added um, which is what helps your uh, jam or marmalade set um, so that's what you need what we need to do is for every uh, four no for every wait my, my mind's gone my mind has gone blank um, 450 grams of sugar for every 600 mils of liquid. Yes, that's right. So I need to uh, measure out the, um, the the liquid that I've got left over here. Um, so I'm just going to grab a jug. So my jug here is 500 mils. I'm just going to do it over the sink so I don't spill it everywhere. Okay, so that's 500. I'm going to pour that 500 in. So that's 600. So we know that we need at least 450 grams of sugar. And that brings us up to, that's 400. Okay, so we've added that in so as i said it's uh, 450 grams of sugar to every 600 mils of liquid so i have got in here uh a liter just about a liter um of liquid um so i'm going to be using 750 grams of uh preserving flour so okay so i'm just going to give that a stir I'm going to heat it really really gently and stir until all the sugar's dissolved. Um, it'll probably take mm, five minutes or so, if that. Um, and once all the sugar is dissolved, you're going to put the heat back on um, and then you're going to let it boil for about 15 minutes. Obviously, depending on, on how you like your marmalade, whether you like it um, thick cut or um, really finely shredded, um, you can do that when you chop up your fruit. So if you like the thick cut, just kind of hack it up a bit. If you like it with the sort of the, the thin cut, just cut it really, really finely. Um, really good excuse to uh, crack out the old knife skills. Okay, the sugar is definitely starting to dissolve now. Now 
another really good thing about using um, preserving sugar is because of the thick texture, um, the coarse texture of the, of the sugar granules, it actually stops um, the burning and sticking thing that you get sometimes when you make jams. Um, so it's re that's a really useful tip, um, is to use preserving sugar. I mean, I still will use jam sugar, um, but this particular recipe, um, definitely I would say go with the preserving sugar. sugar is completely dissolved so I'm going to whack the heat back up I'm going to let that come to a boil um, and then we're just going to boil it really rapidly um, for about 15 minutes or basically until um, you get the setting point so at this, at this point what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to grab a saucer I'm going to pop a saucer in the fridge and this is a really great tip for when you're making jams, that kind of thing, so with the setting point. A uh, cold plate, um, you pop a bit of the mixture on, um, let it cool slightly, push it with your finger. If it wrinkles, it means it's ready and it's at its setting point. But it needs to be a cold plate, so I'm going to pop this in the fridge now. Okay, so my, uh, my marmalade's been bubbling away for about 20 minutes. Um, it's taken a little while to come um, start coming together. So I'm just going to grab a teaspoon. Um, I've got my plate out of the fridge and I'm just going to see um, if it's reached setting point. You do have to let it cool a bit. to wrinkle I'm not sure if you can you can see this I'll try and get it in shot for you um, but you should you should see the wrinkle oh yeah you should see it wrinkle the other thing you can do um, I happen to have one of these handy gadgets it's a sugar thermometer I'm going to pop the sugar thermometer in and it needs to get to 110 degrees C. We're at a setting point, so what we're going to do is we're going to take it off the heat now. I'm going to leave it to cool for about five minutes. Once that's cooled down for five minutes, we're going to add um, 110 grams, 115 grams, apologies, of um, chopped stem ginger, which is, just comes in a in a jar. Uh, it normally comes in syrup. Um, so I've chopped that up already. So you'll probably notice um, as this starts cooling, it's quite dark in colour. Um, don't don't worry about that. It's, it is meant to look like that, so so don't panic. I'm just going to pop my timer on for five minutes. And let that cool. Um, and what you will also need um, once you've uh, got this all uh, ready and it's cooled are some um, some jam jars, which need to be sterilised before you um, you put the um, the marmalade in. Now, uh, if you have a dishwasher. Just run them through a normal dishwasher, dishwasher cycle um, and you can take them out. Don't put your fingers inside when you take them out of the dishwasher because um, they will be desterilised. Um, I don't have a dishwasher, um, so what I did was um, I washed them out really thoroughly um, and let them dry upside down on a tea towel. Once they were dry, um, I preheated the oven to 180, which I think is gas mark 5. Around there somewhere. Uh, pop them in there on a ba on a baking sheet for 10 minutes um, and once that 10 minutes has passed those jars are sterilised just don't put your fingers inside otherwise they will be desterilised the um, the lids 
should sterilise the lids as well. You do that just putting them in, in a pan of boiling water, uh, again, for about 10 minutes, um, and then they will be sterilised, because you don't want to um, put have lovely sterilised jars, put your jam in, and then put an unsterilised uh, jam jar lid on. That's just, that's just silliness. Um, so you should see, as the uh, marmalade starts cooling, it will start kind of coagulating. Um, which is obviously what the um, the jam sugar sugar does. Um, the other thing you're going to need is some uh, wax discs, and you can get these from um, garden centres. Uh, they send up, sell them online, um, and they're basically um, they're just wax pieces of paper which you put on top of the um, the jam or marmalade while it's still hot. Um, so you put that on, and then you put the lid on, and then you leave them to cool. And at that point, you can um, you can put your labels on once once they're cool. But yeah, you need the wax discs. But they're really they are really inexpensive. You can get them in a set, which will come with labels and you know ribbon that kind of thing. That's always fun. Time's up. Right, I'm just going to uh, add our chopped crystallised ginger. I just realised I left a big bit unchopped there. Let's get that in. Right, I'm literally just going to stir this through. grab a ladle. It does help if you have a jam funnel, um, makes it less messy. Unfortunately I don't have a jam funnel so I'm just going to um, ladle over. Please be sure not to get any on your hands because it's very 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 hot. disc on the top and a lid that fits so I'll keep that one and there we go look at that homemade ginger citrus marmalade beautiful so I'm just going to finish um, drying all that up and um, there you go well I hope you liked it a lot of, again, a lot of stirring. I seem to do a lot of things where you need to watch me stir for some unusual reason. Never mind. Um, yes, yeah, so have a go. Uh, let me know how you get on uh, in the comments below. Um, like the video, subscribe, um, and I will see you again soon, possibly for another little Christmassy vid. If not, I'm going to see you in the new year. Okay. Bye.